Welcome back to my studio. I am still working on that giant golf course painting and today I'm going to show you how I paint the picnic basket. When I've painted these before I've had people ask me, you know, please show us how and everything and so this time I just thought, well, this, today's the day. And I have several mixtures. I showed you those at the beginning. They are my mud, which is two parts of ultramarine blue plus one part of alizarin crimson, and I've added into that cadmium orange, and also then some cadmium red light. So it gives me a nice rusty burnt sienna color. And then I start, the light is coming in from the left, so this side of the basket is going to get a little bit of light on the basket here. This side will be cooler because it's in shadow. So I also have a mixture of my ultramarine blue plus white, which gives me a, the blue is a cool color, and so that goes around to the back. And as I just work here, I come, kind of make the texture the wicker using my brush. This is a bright brush. It's got a square end, and it allows me to make these short, choppy brush strokes because the, ba the basket's very textured. It's wicker, so I don't want it to be smooth and I just want to give the feeling of the wicker strands that are woven. And I'll come back and even add more texture once I get all the color in there. But this is just a process and there's bands. Now this, what I'm using right now is this is mud plus liquid. So it's again that two parts ultramarine blue plus one part alizarin crimson plus liquid original and that's just I'm marking the the ribs of the basket where the, the weaving comes around. Again that's just for my reference. <coughs> Excuse me. So I, I'm going to have sunflowers here and my so this blossom is casting a shadow, so it's going to be darker right underneath that. So I go around this edge. I also make this edge cooler so that it goes back. Cool colors go back, warm colors come forward. And then this comes around into the light. grapes are going to be here so I don't want to paint over them. And the places where I have, I ended up painting over my little bit of sketch there. I can come back with a clean brush, just clean it out in my thinner, wipe it, and then I can just erase that where I've sketched over, where I've painted over my sketch. Use the corner of that brush to pull that paint off. I don't want to get my grapes covered up here. A big bunch of grapes right there for our picnic. And then I come back in and add my ribs of the basket. And make this expand out just a little bit more. It's just a matter of just lots of texture covering over because you want a mix of paint here. If you ever looked at a wicker basket, it's not all the same value, it's not all the same tone. Even the wicker strands have variation within them. So I can come back in and just give that feeling of those, those strands. all in shadow from the sunflowers draping over the basket. Get all those little white spots on the canvas covered. And then this is some cheese. Again, they're going to have a little picnic here. Come up on the, to the hill. We're going to have a little picnic and listen to Amazing Grace 
the bagpiper this, at this resort, the Half Moon Bay Resort. The bagpiper comes out, we have a Scottish bagpiper who comes out at sunset and plays amazing grace as the sun is descending into the sea. And it's just a, just a beautiful moment. My clients were telling me about it. One of these days I hope to be able to see that myself. But they said it was just amazing and just watching the beauty of God's world around them as that's playing and watching the sun just rip, dip into the sea is, is just, they said it's just truly an incredible moment. As you can see, I start using this, again, I can just use the side of my brush this bright brush to give the make the wicker in the basket. Now it gets a little bit darker as it goes around. And that gives our texture. And then I can also come back with my mud mixture and also make some of that texture. If you'll notice probably the perspective is a little bit off, it's because I have to have the camera to the side so that you can see. If it were right behind me, you wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing. Also, I wanted to tell you, if you'd like to watch the rest of the step-by-step -step process of this painting, it's all on my blog. The link is in the description below, and you can subscribe to my blog and get a notification every time I put up a new post, you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll just continue this around, and again as we come around this way, we get, wicker gets a little bit darker, it's in shadow now. Have to establish a few more little ribs. This is how I paint the basket. And I made it very warm because I have a lot of muted colors in the background. It's like the grasses behind here are, and all are more of a golden and more muted color. So I, I wanted this to be a little bit oranger, more rusty color so that it comes forward. Again, warm colors come forward, the oranges and reds and bright colors, and the muted tones go back, cooler muted tones go back. I'm gonna add a little more cool back in here, again, to give that wicker texture. And I could just use even the corner of my brush. I just love these, these square-ended brushes. They're called bright brushes and I use them almost exclusively. I just, I've tried filberts, I've tried flats, uh, and this is just what I really prefer. And brushes are an individual thing. I mean, every artist has, a, they make different brushes because different artists. Now I'll quick put the handle in here and the back of the handle. We make cooler and we'll come warmer as we come around. And this again is a bright brush, it's just a smaller one, but I can make, I can make just a nice smooth brush stroke with that. Oops, I'm going to spill my thinner. a little texture in that too. And then I give a little highlight the sun is hitting it. And that's how I paint the basket. I appreciate you following along today. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. And just remember, be kind to somebody today. Give them a big smile. We don't have to wear masks as much now. And just give somebody a big smile Practice random acts of kindness.
as Jack always used to say. So have a wonderful, wonderful day and thank you again.